Deodorants don't cause breast cancer despite what you see online and today I'm going to tell you why. I'll tell you how the room started, whether deodorants are safer than antiperspirants and explain why you don't need to worry about aluminium causing breast cancer. And if you've seen a video telling you to throw your deodorant away and like many women you've tossed yours in the bin, I'm going to help you work out who to believe in the future by asking one simple question, where's the proof? And if you've not watched one of my videos before, I'm Dr. Liz Reardon, a breast surgeon with breast cancer, and I do the research so you don't have to. It all started as a viral email in the late 90s that claimed deodorants were the leading cause of breast cancer, and there were two reasons. One, they said deodorants work by blocking the sweat glands. Then they said that toxins are eliminated through the sweat. And by their logic, when deodorants block the sweat glands, toxins build up in the lymph nodes in your armpit. And the pièce de résistance, they said that because most breast cancers are found in the upper outside quadrant closest to the armpit, and that's true, 55% are, it must be the toxins in the lymph nodes that are causing breast cancer. Now, whoever wrote that email did not go to medical school, but that's not all. They said the other reason why deodorants are so dangerous is because of chemicals like aluminium that are absorbed through the skin. And then they said that aluminium can act like oestrogen, and because oestrogen causes breast cancer, it doesn't, but let's go with this. The email went on to explain that then shaving your armpits causes tiny nicks in the skin, which means you absorb more of the aluminium, so they don't want us to shave either. But hang on, their proof is this. Men don't shave their armpits and men don't get breast cancer, and that's because the deodorant goes onto the hair, not the skin. I have so many questions, like... A deodorant safe if you don't shave and is it the shaving that's dangerous not the deodorant and are they sure that we don't absorb these chemicals through our hair but enough about what i think it all sounds quite convincing doesn't it blocked glands toxins building up but dr liz you ask i'm told not to use deodorants before i have a mammogram and i was advised to only use aluminium free deodorants after radiotherapy surely it's because they cause cancer well, you're right, we do say that, but it's not for the reasons you think, and I'll tell you why at the end of the video. Back to that viral email, let me tell you why it's nonsense, but to do that, I need to start by explaining how deodorants actually work. Everybody sweats when they get too hot, unless you're Prince Andrew, apparently. It's your body's way of cooling down when you get too hot. Sweat is a clear, salty liquid and it doesn't smell. But when it mixes with the bacteria on your skin, it can start to smell. Now, we use deodorants to mask the smell with a more pleasant scent. We use antiperspirants to stop us sweating for a couple of hours. So how do they work? The key ingredient is aluminium salts. They dissolve in your sweat, creating a thin gel coating that covers your sweat glands and stops them sweating when you get hot. You know, before I researched this, I thought they both did the same thing, but now we know. But let's get back to that email. Do sweat glands get rid of toxins? No. All sweat glands do is release sweat to cool the body. That's it. Your liver and kidneys get rid of toxins. Do lymph nodes get rid of toxins? Yes or no? Guess what? It's no again. Lymph nodes are simply clusters of white blood cells. They're part of your immune system. Their job is just to filter lymphatic fluid and destroy bacteria and viruses. They don't get rid of toxins through sweat. And more importantly, they have nothing to do with your sweat glands. But what about the fact that most breast cancers are in the upper outer quadrant of the breast? Surely there must be a connection. You'd think so, wouldn't you? It's actually got nothing to do with your armpits. It's all about your breast shape. Your breasts aren't round like a Norwich, they're actually shaped like a pear, and the top of the pear reaches out towards the armpit. It's because you have more breast tissue here that most cancers are found there. Now I hope I've done enough to convince you that deodorants don't cause breast cancer by blocking sweat glands. But what about the aluminium? Every day someone is warning us about the dangers of thousands of chemicals we get exposed to, and surely that must increase our risk of getting breast cancer. Is that why antiperspirants are dangerous? Is that why you're told not to use them when you have a mammogram? Surely that must be true. I'm going to cover that later, but first I'm going to let you in on a secret. Aluminium is everywhere. It's found in tea leaves, cocoa, spices and herbs, tobacco, mushrooms, spinach, lettuce and some dairy and soya products. And that's because it's found in the soil. It's also used in food additives and colourings. So if we're that concerned that aluminium is dangerous, do we need to drastically change our lifestyle as well? Of course not. The levels you're exposed to on a daily basis are tiny. And any, any aluminium you do eat and drink is removed by your kidneys and you pee it out in your urine. 
Now, aluminium in very high concentrations could be dangerous, like someone working with high levels of aluminium dust in a building site, but it's not been shown to cause cancer in humans. But what about the claim that the aluminium we absorb through our skin can act like oestrogen? Well, firstly, a study looked at whether you could absorb oestrogen through the skin, and they looked at women using antiperspirants, and only 0.012% of those aluminium salts were absorbed. That's a tiny amount, much less than you get from the diet. Now, there's a theory that aluminium salts might cause changes in the oestrogen receptors of breast cells, and that comes from laboratory research. They grew breast cancer cells in a plastic dish and covered them in an aluminium salt solution and saw the oestrogen receptor function changed. And because oestrogen stimulates ER-positive breast cancer cells to grow, antiperspirants must be a risk. But these were cancer cells in a dish, given high concentration of aluminium directly into the solution that keeps them alive. And that's very different from a normal woman using aluminium antiperspirants who absorbs a tiny amount from the diet. It's just not evidence. It's not proof. And the one study that actually looked at the amount of aluminium in breast tissue found that breast cancers had the same amount as normal breast tissue. So everything in that email was false. Deodorants and antiperspirants are safe. So if that's the case, why don't you wear deodorants before a mammogram? And that's because the residue from deodorants and the aluminium salts and antiperspirants can show up on a mammogram as tiny white specks. And because breast cancer looks like tiny white specks on a mammogram, we don't want the person reading it to be confused. That's it. But what about when you have radiotherapy? I was told not to use an antiperspirant that had aluminium salts and I wanted to know why. And again, it's not because they're dangerous. You can actually use any deodorant you like while you're having radiotherapy, but some women can get burning, blisters and painful irritated skin due to the radiotherapy changes. And that's when a traditional antiperspirant might make the pain and irritation worse. I had quite bad skin burning and I used a Mitchum deodorant, but I went back to my normal one once everything had settled down because it worked better for me. So in a nutshell, Deodorants and antiperspirants do not cause breast cancer and they are completely safe to use. In fact, in 2020, the European Scientific Committee on, Con on Consumer Safety looked at all the evidence. They published a report that confirmed that aluminium is safe in all cosmetic products and stated it does not cause breast cancer. If you'd rather use a natural one, go for it. But do it because you want to, not because of a video on TikTok. If you've got any other myths you want me to debunk, let me know in the comments. And remember to subscribe so you don't miss my next video. I'm Dr. Liz Reardon, and thanks for watching.